Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name is Teddy from Financial Tortoise, where we learn to grow our wealth slow and steady. The number one ultimate money rule for wealth building. Hold minimum six months of cash as an emergency fund. Let's be honest. Unless you're a thrill-seeking daredevil, no one likes emergencies. They create anxiety, stress, and panic. But do you know what's worse? Not having money to cover those emergencies. If you live on planet Earth, unplanned and unexpected events are a natural part of life. Despite how much we plan, and trust me, I love planning. Emergencies happen, and more often than we like. I swear, I'm a careful driver, but that parked car came out of nowhere, and now my right wheel is all scuffed up. My son sprains his ankle while playing soccer. I swear, I wasn't yelling at him to try harder. It's 95 degrees outside, so as soon as I get into my car, I crank up the AC. But for some reason, it doesn't work. If that's not an emergency, I don't know what is. Whatever reason or whatever the circumstance, the bottom line is that unexpected events will happen and most often, they'll come with a hefty price tag. So we want to get in the habit of always having a level of emergency fund in our checking or savings account. Six months is a good starting place and you can dial this number up or down based on your specific circumstance. My wife and I are pretty conservative, so we like 12 months. But if you're in a very stable work situation, three months could work too. The key is to have one to protect you and your family from life's unexpected events the number two ultimate money rule for wealth building. Build competitive career capital. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance you live in a free market economy. And in a free market economy, money is driven by supply and demand. If I have something that is rare and valuable, people will pay more money for it. If I own something that is easy to come by, then people won't pay as much. In the same way, if we want a high paying career, we must offer something that is rare and valuable to the market. Steve Martin is considered one of the greatest stand-up comics of all time. With five Grammy Awards, nominations for two Tony Awards, and an Honorary Academy Award, he has sure earned that title. So it's not a surprise that many aspiring comedians and actors are constantly asking him for his best career advice. And do you know what his number one advice is? Nobody ever takes over my advice because it's not the answer they wanted to hear. What they want to hear is, here is how you get an agent. Here's how you write a script. But I always say, be so good they can't ignore you. That's right, be so good that people can't ignore you. Build competitive career capital and be so good in your career that you'll never have issues getting a job, earning your worth, or if you have your own business, getting more clients. The number three ultimate money rule for wealth building. Reinvest in yourself. There's a lot in life that we can't control. We can't control what the weather will be like next week. We can't control how our boss's mood will be like tomorrow. And we can't control how the market will perform next year. However, there is one thing we can control, and that is ourselves. So constantly look for ways where you can wisely reinvest in yourself to level up your earning potential, your brain, your health, and even your relationships. For me, one of my best investments in my health was my squat rack. It cost me over $3,000 initially, but it removed so much mental and emotional barrier to working out. It is health that is real wealth, and not pieces of gold and silver. Education is another area where I'm constantly looking to reinvest in myself. Whether in the form of books, courses, or in-person events, if I could learn even one new piece of information, I'm all for it. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. And in relationships, I'm constantly looking for ways to better connect with my wife and my kids. And to be honest, this is hard. But I know in the long run, it will be worth it. So I do my best to carve out intentional time where we can connect. And investing in relationships goes beyond just my immediate family as well. I'm always on the lookout to connect with the right people and mentors who can help me to become a better version of myself. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. A quick reminder, if you enjoyed this video and would like a summary of everything I'm covering here, make sure to download your free companion PDF that summarizes all the things I'm covering in this video. Whenever I encounter useful information, I love to capture it so I can remember it in the future. Well, I've done that for you via this free PDF. So make sure to go to the link I'll have in the description below to grab your free copy. The number four ultimate money rule for wealth building. Do not buy too much house, especially early in your career. Housing is the most expensive line item in most families' budget. To be honest, if you want to save and invest more money, it doesn't matter if you never eat out and never buy clothes if you're spending a ridiculous amount of money on your housing every single month. You don't want to have so much money going towards your mortgage every month that you can't enjoy life or take care of your other financial responsibilities. Essentially, you don't want to become house poor. Additionally, when you buy a house that is too big, you often are living in a high status neighborhood, a kind of place where you always feel the pressure to keep up with the Joneses. Everyone has the latest Tesla model in their drive. How do you think you'd feel if you didn't have one? Everyone is upgrading their kitchen. 
how long can you hold out before you succumb to the pressure? Everyone is talking about their latest vacation in Europe. How long before you purchase your own overpriced vacation package? Make it easier on yourself and think hard about the size of the hole and the type of neighborhood you choose to raise your family in. The number five ultimate money rule for wealth building. A poor in debt. And I mean all types of debt. The financial industry loves to spread the message that debt is a useful tool to multiply our purchasing power and even our wealth. Companies use it all the time to fund their operation. Governments use it to fund all their programs. And individuals use it all the time to buy things out of their immediate reach. Cars, homes, clothes, you name it. Thus they say, use it. It's a useful financial tool. However, I beg to differ. The danger with accepting that debt is a useful financial tool is that it conditions us to see debt as a normal and even positive part of life. It quickly cascades into justifying all our money decisions. We buy the biggest home we can find because we believe that the fat home mortgage is multiplying our net worth. Who cares if it's taking 50% of our take-home pay? We upgrade our car because the dealer is offering 0% interest for the first 12 months. It's practically free, right? Who cares if it jumps to 15% after 12 months? We allow our kids to take on $80,000 in student debt because it's funding their future career. Who cares if he's getting a master's degree in underwater basket weaving? You can't put a price tag on education. And before we know it, we're practically swimming in debt. Everything we supposedly own is owned by our bank or our creditors. And we're just one paycheck away from financial catastrophe. If you want to build sustainable, long-lasting wealth, learn to abhor debt. Do not see it as a useful tool to buy things. And never see it as a positive tool to multiply your wealth. Yes, it is a financial tool that has some time and a place, but that is it. It is not useful, good, or great. And to be honest, for the most of us, we would do much better keeping debt at an arm's length distance. The number six ultimate money rule for wealth building. Be frugal. Embrace frugality. Be known as someone who is frugal. The formula for building wealth and achieving financial freedom is pretty simple and straightforward. In the words of one of my favorite authors, Jell Collins, the author of The Simple Path to Wealth, spend less than you earn, invest a surplus, avoid debt. Do simply this and you will wind up rich. Well, but how to spend less? How to not get distracted by all the spending temptations out there? Be frugal. Embrace frugality. Be proud to be known as someone who is frugal. In 1996, Dr. Thomas Stanley published a book titled The Millionaire Next Door, where he shared the characteristics of American millionaires based on his research of real millionaires. And this was what he said of them. What are the three words that profile the affluent? Frugal, frugal, frugal. So why is being frugal so important to achieving financial freedom? Here's why. Being frugal enables us to say no to social pressure to conform. Being frugal enables us to spend money wisely, not wastefully. Being frugal keeps us from borrowing money. And most importantly, being frugal enables us to save more and invest money that can compound to help us achieve financial freedom. But some of you might balk at this idea of being frugal. You conjure images of cheapskate who picks up pennies and doesn't spend money on anything. However, being frugal and being cheap are completely different. By definition, a frugal person is not someone who doesn't spend money on anything. Rather, it is a person who is wise with their money. Someone who is not wasteful with their spending. Someone who is smart with their money because they think hard about the value they receive from every dollar they spend. Bottom line, if you want to build wealth and achieve financial freedom, learn to spend less by learning to be frugal. The number seven ultimate money rule for wealth building. Buy quality. What is another characteristic of someone who is frugal and smart with their purchases? They focus on quality. Why? Because when you buy quality, most often quality products last longer and work better than their cheap counterparts, saving us a lot of money and misery. Rather than having to replace your items every few months or even weeks, you can go longer between purchases. For me, I see the greatest benefit of buying quality when shopping for clothes. When I was younger, because I wanted to save money, whenever I needed a new jacket or a new shirt, I would find the cheapest one I could find. My go-to stores were discount stores like Old Navy and Ross. However, the pieces I bought there often didn't last long, and I would find myself needing to replace it in just a few months. Not only was I frustrated by the fact that I had to make multiple trips to the store, but I also felt like I was spending more money than I should. Eventually, I started investing more in my clothing and buying from higher-end stores. Today, one of my most favorite clothing brands is North Face. Now, just to be clear, North Face is not paying me to say any of this. It's just a brand that I come to love because their clothes are truly high quality. Of all the clothing brands I've tried, I feel they have the greatest durability. The jacket that I bought five years ago still looks and feels the same as the day I bought it. 
Yes, are there pieces way more expensive than similar no-brand ones I can find at Old Navy and Ross? No doubt. North Face products by fact are four or five times more expensive. However, I can tell you from personal experience, they last 10 times longer. So therefore, they not only save me the misery of having to shop for a new pair of clothes every few months, but money as well. So when it comes to spending money, don't just focus on the price, focus on quality. The number eight ultimate money rule for wealth building. Embrace simplicity. We live in a world that loves to overcomplicate money, especially when it comes to investing. So-called financial experts are always talking about how you need super intricate financial models and strategies to make money in the market. Hollywood movies portray investing as a complicated science where you need fancy tools and an intense understanding of the stock market in order to win. And media outlets often reinforce this idea with articles on the five best stocks to monitor in 2025, the seven best trading apps for an edge, and four rising fund managers to watch. But the truth is that investing money in the market doesn't have to be complex. The tortoise didn't beat the hare because he had a complicated plan to complete the race. No, it was actually quite simple. Keep one feet in front of the other and stay on the road. Don't get distracted, don't give up, just keep going. In the same way, a simple strategy is all you need in order to achieve financial freedom. You don't need to spend hours looking for the winning individual stocks. You don't need intricate investing vehicles, commodities, options trading, private companies. And you don't need to invest your money with an overpriced financial advisor. All you need is a simple strategy if you want to build wealth in the long run. If you have decades ahead of you to invest, invest all your money in a low-cost, broad market index fund and forget about it. My personal favorite is the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund, aka VTSAX. And for me, that is it. Bottom line, embrace simple. Embrace the boring, embrace the mundane. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Number nine ultimate money rule for wealth building. Play the long game. Most great things in life do not happen overnight. They take a very long time. A great accomplishment takes years. A great career takes decades. A great marriage takes a lifetime. So when it comes to money and investing, don't measure your time horizon in months or even years. Measure it against decades. In the big picture, an investment's monthly performance or even annual performance does not really matter. What matters is the long-term prospect, the potential growth of the American economy and American companies for the next 10, 20, or 30 years. For example, if you invest $100,000 in index fund with an average rate of return of 8%, and hold it for 30 years without ever touching it, you will eventually accumulate a portfolio of over $1 million. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. Slow and steady is quite boring, and waiting 30 years, I know, is a long time. However, it's one of the most effective ways for regular individuals like you and me to accumulate wealth, and in the end, that is what matters. So let's play the long game. The elementary mathematics of compound interest is one of the most important models there is on Earth. The number 10 ultimate money rule for wealth building. Marry right. And I'm not talking about marrying someone who has money. Rather, you marry someone who shares your financial values, who is fully on board with your spending habits and frugal lifestyle. Not only are the most prodigious accumulators of wealth frugal, their spouses tend to be even more frugal. When you marry someone who doesn't share the same financial values as you, you could be in a world of hurt. You want to save your pay raise for a down payment for a new home. However, your partner wants to take the family on a three-week trip to Paris. Now, there's nothing wrong with either options. They're both great, but as long as you're making it together. However, when your money values are fundamentally different, this is really hard to do. Any desire to discuss money could naturally lead to an argument and a worse separation. Not good for your mental psyche as well as your net worth. In Dr. Thomas Stanley's book, The Millionaire Next Door, most millionaires married and stayed married to the same person for many decades. And this allowed the family to accumulate greater net worth as well as enjoy the benefit of a happy marriage. So despite how unromantic it may sound, when you're dating, talk about money. See where you stand as to how each of you view money. The sooner you're able to discuss it and learn more about each other's money values, the easier it will be in the future. Thank you guys for watching the theme of having the right relationships. If you want to improve your relationship with money, please check out my video here. Until next time, all the best.